building dams. Chip. Frogs setting lily pads. Check. Woodpeckers wasting their lives. Check. What? How's it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. <laughs> Your file shows over 3,000 infractions in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? <laughs> Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. But schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world. There's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With a woodpecker's friend. <gasps> it's... It's beautiful. What is it? Look at me, Woody. Woodrow, I think this tree's a winner. Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? Yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. <gasps> oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here's a super sapling. Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off? Well, it's down to business for this woodpecker. I'll get an A in advanced food gathering. All it takes is knowledge, strategy, and a pizza parlor that delivers. Oh. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, Want a little fruit of the old pizza tree, Woodrow? I don't recall a pizza tree. What are you up to now, Woodpecker? You trying to get me in trouble again? Woodrow, you gotta stop being so suspicious of everything. Do you think Mother Nature would have grown this stuff if she didn't want us to enjoy it? I tell you, it's a big, beautiful world out there. I'm just trying to open the pantry door for you. Well... <laughs> You'll probably want to wash that down with a delicious sod soda. This stuff is delicious. Why didn't we learn about these in school? Uh, I can open up a whole new world of things you'll never learn in books, Woodrow. <laughs> a hundred pounds of wholesome goodness, Mother Nature. You get an A again, Woody. But it appears Woodrow is nowhere near ready for the outside world. Another F. F stands for food. Thank you. I will have some more. All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. Ah, handle it, Woody. I'm going to catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm going to have to stay here forever. I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, 
Shod shoulder, jackhammers, this is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. It's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody, Woodrow, here I come. Yikes, Mother Nature. Why, Woody, it's... It's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the Academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. <laughs> Swedish petunias to bloom. <laughs> oh, yoinky doinky. My bloomers. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with all that noise and the kerplunking all over the yard? We're trying to make a race car, Wally. For the neighborhood soapbox power derby. A car race? Hmm. Is it for kids only, or can anyone enter? The only rule is the car has to be naturally powered, so you gotta... Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a dream coming true here. Get out of my yard now, you two! Out! What's with him? <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we got work to do. Oh, all the glory, all the fame of my childhood racing days. Mm. Now I can complete my display with one more first prize ribbon. <laughs> this super slick oil ought to make our racer go fast, Splinter. Yeah, that and a fourth wheel. Mm. Those kids look smarter than I first thought. But Wally Forrest knows a trick or two or three or four to get the edge on the competition, you bet. <laughs> Oh, woodpeckers! I have a spare wheel you can have for your little race car. Catch! <laughs> Gee, thanks, Wally. Now, let's just see how fast the competition... <laughs> <laughs> Competition? Better keep our race car secret secret, just in case. The greasy wheel is gonna squeak ahead and win the blue ribbon for me, you bet. <laughs> I better get a closer look at what's in that can. Swamp gas should supercharge our racer real good. Hey, Splinter, what's that smell? <laughs> it's too yummy to be swamp gas. Oh, it's Wally 
Daddy's famous Swedish meatball s'mores. He probably left them out there for us. Mmm, mm. yummy. Mm. 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 It's too dark. I'll just... No! Insert tubing A into pipe fitting C. Check. This is one mean green racing machine. With Troy Tank toilet water power booster capabilities. Shh! It's that wiener Wally again. Hey, what's the big idea? Uh, oh, oh, the big idea? Uh, the, the big idea. I tell you the big idea. I am going to win that race, and so I got to know what you got planned for... <gasps> it's beautiful. Ooh, double overhead water cans. If it... Get out of our garage, Wally! But I will now build a better one! <laughs> yeah, build this! <laughs> I am Wally Forrest, one-time Swedish champion. I have come to regain my former glory. On your mark, get set, go! Congratulations, Splinter and Knothead. You are this year's winners. Look out below! Hiya, buddy. <laughs> I still have no ribbon to fill that last space in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> well, you do now, Wally. Ta da! <laughs> What's your name and where are you from, tourist? Uh, <laughs> uh what are you, woodpecker? Uh, from out of town. Well, uh, guess what? You're our one billionth customer! And you've just won the ultimate Hollywood star treatment! <laughs> Stand right here like I'm taking your picture, Tweaky. Okay. I'm casing the joint behind you. Just stand still. Ah! Hey! Watch where you're going, you gold bricker! You mean this mansion's mine? Really mine? You'll stay here as part of your prize package. And later this afternoon, you'll even get to take a big time Hollywood screen test. Tweaky old chum, ditch the map. We just found our own shortcut to the stars. <laughs> no doubt about it. I was born to be a Hollywood star. Good day, chum. Yeah! Buzz buzzard, resident of bodyguards by Buzz. Maybe I should hire you to protect me from you. 
What are you doing in my pool, you nut job? Making the point that you, sir, are vulnerable. Vulnerable to what? Well, as Hollywood's hottest new celebrity, you need protection from, say, your uh, perchance uh, crazed autograph hounds. Crazed autograph hounds? Why, yes. I said crazed autograph hounds. Oh, oh, it's the mansion of that famous new star, Hollywoody the Woodpecker. I am a crazy fan. Let Buzz Buzzard's protection racket, I mean service, protect you from this fanatical fan, Mr. Woodpecker. Mr. Woodpecker! Can I have you? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Who knew being a star was so dangerous? And with my special new celebrity offer, I only charge you per life saving. Okay, okay. But I pay you after I've made it safely through my screen test this afternoon. So, those two Hollywood hustlers think I just fell off a turnip truck, do they? We'll see who the real sucker is around here. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Boozard, I'm going outside for my first TV interview. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Woodpecker. You simply can't go out there. The media pretends like they're giving you a nicety nice interview, but they are secretly sending one of their popcorn arazzi types in the back way to dig up your private toy. I feel so, so vulnerable, Mr. Bazaard. Do what you must. Okay, Tweaky. All we gotta do is make like I'm chasing you out. Get back here, you snake in the grass! Stay away! Hide me and I'll have bitches! Get back here, you... You little vagrant! Time to give these two their big Hollywood break. Camera, action, lights! Oh, yeah! oh, that Woody Woodpecker! His first day in Hollywood and just look at this wild, wild party! He's putting the tinsel back in Tinseltown with his Hollywood bad boy ways. Do it the way I showed you, Tweaky. It's almost time for his screen test and our payday. Oh, well, but I don't know nothing about being an actor, boss. Pardon my interruption, Mr. Woodpecker, but my sources indicate a disgruntled star is planning to sabotage your screen test. He could be lurking anywhere. <sighs> sabotage my screen test? But why? I am Reginald Linsgors, Hollywood's most jealous and fading movie star. And you, sir, are about to become Birdseed. <laughs> Have no fear. Bodyguards by Buzz is here. Ready for your screen test, Mr. Oh, They're, uh, helping me with my screen test. Keep this baby rolling. Oh, 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 Jungle, Woody to the rescue. Take one. <laughs> Time to scram. Magnificent stupendous. <laughs> oh, 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 I hate scary movies. You were last, Twiggy. He's just acting. He can't stop us. Come on. Oh, yes. They flee. But can they escape? Ah, Woody Blackbell will defend my honor. I make you pay for kicking me. Brilliant, Sacco Buffo, Woody, you're gonna be Hollywood's biggest star. Out of my way, you dish rag. Let me out of here. I want to sign you to a seven-year deal worth millions. You'll never stop working in this town. Just come to the studio, and we'll do everything you just did over again, and we'll make it your first motion picture. Woody wins Hollywood! What? Do that all over again? And never stop working? Are you nuts? Forget this 
Star stuff. I'd have to be crazy to work this hard every day. No, come back. My career is in your hands. Think of the fame, the adoring fans, the autograph hounds. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
She's more in love with me than ever. What does that tell you? Uh, there's no accounting for taste? No! It means your plan isn't working. Ah, uh, don't get your shorts in a bunch, Wally. Drastic women call for drastic measures. <laughs> Unchained, Wally. This woodpecker's job is finally done. How did you know I adore oil wrestling? <laughs> kiss a licious, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Wait. A love potion. Now they can both go gaga for each other. Hi, Wally. Drink this. <laughs> What's happening? Good for four hours only. Uh-oh. Meanies must be wearing off. Huh? Ooh, my little fjord dancer, come to Volley. Help! What am I doing here? And what's that smell? Ick! It's me! Woodpecker! Help me! Help me! Oh, my spicy meatball! Help! Woodpecker! You got to do something! Oh, uh, I'll be glad to find a way to take him off your hands, Ms. Meanie. Uh, what's it worth to you? Free rent for a month? Six months. A year? How about installing oh, a hot tub in my tree house? Uh, basketball hoop on my tree. What do you say? What do you say? Mm -hmm. Anything, woodpecker! Mm -hmm. Anything! Welcome to Smedley's Lonely Hearts Club .com. Are you looking for that special snuggle bun to cuddle up to and keep you warm on cold Arctic nights? Then let me and my love computer find the perfect match for you. We have hundreds of eligible EGA members. And my 100% patented compatibility program uh, inside this here love computer is the only surefire way to find the perfect someone for you. <laughs> this is what we in the computer business call a systems crash. Now you listen here, you little high-tech glitch. I feel a love bump coming for sure. I get your point. But I am the professional matchmaker and computer programmer hereabouts. Me and my love computer will determine who is right for you, little fella. Once you pay your $500 membership fee. Hmm. I guess it's true what they say. Love waits for no man. Now, now, little fella. She may not be your perfect match. And you can't let your heart go getting involved in, well, matters of the heart. A cyber high to you, Chili Lily. Trust me. Mm. My love computer is working night and day <clears throat> to select the perfect match for you. But don't you worry your little heart, miss. <clears throat> Smedley, the love doctor, will not rest until he has found your soulmate. <clears throat> this is Smedley's Lonely Hearts Club.com. Logging off. And now it's time for you to take Smedley's patented compatibility test. Yup, me and my love computer had no trouble selecting the ideal match for you, little feller. 
According to my profile, she is warm to cuddle with, has a big heart, and a hearty appetite. Who is it? It's the mechanic of love from SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com, ma'am. Here with a dream date that is sure to create fireworks of plenty. Meet a more. If you love something, let it go. And if it comes back and blows up in your face, it's a penguin, all right. <laughs> As president of this here cyber match establishment, I will not rest until the perfect match has been matched. Me and my love computer have selected a new date for you, Penguin. She loves deep sea diving, haute couture fashions, and is not afraid to express her deep ocean emotions. La, 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 la. Oh, come here, you adorable penguin, you. Come to Mama. <laughs> Yup, nothing like a satisfied love connection. Hey, what are you? Ah! Oh, oh, that, my little love muffin. You and your lousy dating service. Love is like a rose, mostly thorny and full of owls. And that was definitely an owl. That does it. I've had enough of these two incompatibles trying to thwart me and my all-knowing love computer. For your own good, I'm gonna deprogram your internal love computer. There are hundreds of applicants you can choose from, and my compatibility computer says she is not the one for you. Your resistance is wearing down. Select the perfect date and Smedley the love mechanic will hook you up. Monitor one, seven, 22, nine, four, Hold on one puppy loving minute. Huh? Ah, you get, you little heartbreaker, you! Come back here, you penguin sized Romeo and Juliet! Now there's the kind of man who can comb the hair on my back any day. The love doctor's in, and I want the first appointment. Well, I guess it's true what my mama always said after all. Don't even try to fight love, cause then it'll beat you every time. Special delivery for Miss Meanie. I'll be a turnip. An invitation to my high school reunion. Oh, I wonder if Biff Buff will be there. I'll show that no good so and so. I've done just fine after our breakup, but I gotta go with a date who'll make him jealous with a capital J. <laughs> 
According to your lease, Section 73, Article 12, said woodpecker must accompany me, said landlady, to any and all social outings as my date, if I so request, or else said woodpecker, you will be evicted. <laughs> you don't said. But don't get any romantic notions, cuddle buns. This is strictly a platonic business deal. Got it? Our target is my old flame, Biff Buff. When he sees how much fun I still am on a date, after all these years, he'll eat his jaw card out for dumping me back in high school. Now look, debonair, Woodpecker. You and me are gonna be the dream date of this reunion. Nightmare date's more like it. It's meanie and date. That's spelled D-A-T-E. Ha! Well, what do you know? Maybe this party won't be such a drag after all. Meanie! Catholic is Meanie, you okay? I'll go to the gym and get you something to drink. Be back soon. Hold on, Woodpecker. You're here to make Biff jealous, so you don't go anywhere without me by your side. Got it? Uh, right. So, how about we go to the gym together for some fun? You know, to make Biff jealous? You like games? Well, let's go play Guess My Old Walker combination. Well! Go, go ahead, Woodpecker. Try again! Try again! No one ever guesses on the first 300 tries. Ooh. Biff sees me here! Oh. Why, you little dickens! Didn't I tell you this was fun? Ah, oh, I can hardly stand it. Oh, heavens! It's jammed, Meanie! I'll have to go get help! Don't you dare! President of the Judo Club, don't you know? Woodpecker, don't poop out on my party. Ah! It's him! It's Biff! Biff always wore a checkered sports coat. What brat! That boy always could get away from me. Well, let's find him so I can ask him his secret. <laughs> Hey, Meanie, let's page Mr. Wright. Biff Buck to the art room. Biff Buck to the art room. Now! Oh, good thinking, Woodpecker. Keep it up and I may even give you a rent reduction. This Woodpecker's date night is just about over. <laughs> huh? Oh, Miss Meanie, what a horrible accident. I'll get someone down in the gym. Uh, to help! <laughs> Don't move a muscle till I return. Fun and games, here I come! Woohoo! Hey, what gives? <laughs> You, you big jokester! Ha 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 ha! Oh! Hi, Biff! Always trying to be the centerpiece of attention, huh, Meanie? <laughs> <laughs> She's the centerpiece, and so's her little friend. <laughs> I say, chaps, laugh if you must, but Mimi here is the centerpiece of my very existence. <sighs> my castle would not be such without Milady there to watch over it and see that all things run as they must. Wait, you two live in a castle? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Woodpecker! <laughs> Me, Castle A. Sue Castle! I am Lord Crinkle. Perhaps you've heard of me? And I will not stand to have the likes of you be smirching my Mimi's character with your cheap laughter. Choose your 
weapon. Huh, we didn't know, Lord Crinkle. We shall duel to the finish for my fair meanie's honor. Oh. Uh, we were just kidding you, Lordship. <laughs> Buttered hook, line, and woodpecker, Woody! Can we go have some fun now, Miss Meanie? You bet! We're gonna go to the Industrial Film Festival together, the Ice Cube exhibit on Sunday. Oh, I know this great little dim sort of bingo parlor. Oh, I tell you, the fun is just <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> the weather report. The bad news, it's 120 degrees in the new day sun. Ouch, Amundo. Ow, ow, ooh, ooh, ow, ow, ooh, ow, 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 ooh, ow, ow, <laughs> But the good news, it's only 110 in the shade. So try to stay cool any way you can, baby. It is hot out here. Or is that just me in these tight trunks, hmm? <laughs> It's mine. <laughs> it's my shade. I got here first. I saw it before you. Fine. You have this shade. I'm going into the pool, you bad. <laughs> Public welcome. That means me. Sorry, you can't come in here. What do you mean? The sign says public welcome. Not today. <laughs> Pool's closed for synchronized swimming practice. Well, what do you know, Coach? We're synchronized swimmers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, they're twin sons of different mothers, you bet. We do everything alike, yeah. I don't think so. Yow! Say, that's not bad. Please, please, please pretty, pretty please, please with meatballs on top. top. With meatball, meatball pizza, pizza on top. top. Well... I could use one more swimmer on the team. Only one of you will make it and get to stay in the water, while the other one will be out on his backside in the baking hot street. Got it? Good. Go! <laughs> team trunks, towels, swim caps. Suit up, ladies. Now, let's move it and sink. <laughs> Say, Wally, help you with your cap? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Real funny, Woodpecker. Hey, no bees! Remember what I said. One of you will make the team, the other one will be out on your ear. And if I catch either of you pulling any more shenanigans, you're both out! <laughs> That's our cue, girls! Walruses and woodpeckers, too!
was my finish. No, mine. <laughs> Her. Yeah, who needs the pool? There's no water there anyhow. <laughs> you know, Woodpecker, together I think we're two cool cucumbers. <laughs> Sergeant, I have good news. You'll be receiving your first recruit today. Sir, thank you, sir. I trust you'll be on guard at all times. Sir, I will, sir. Nothing will get by me. Absolutely nothing. are all squared away and... Hmm? What's this? Hmm, what do we have here? A pint-sized private. Hmm, must be the new recruit. A lazy recruit! <laughs> this ain't no summer camp! Ten! What? Hmm, you're a snappy dresser. But where's your uniform, little buddy? No uniform? There we go. All field dressed and ready for action. So, get on the field. Now! Move it, move it, move it! There. Only working soldiers get into the barracks now. And I can't think of a better task than digging foxholes. It's a fundamental of core training. So, start digging foxholes! That boy's gonna do me proud. Solid digging. Good dirt placement. This is more of a tunnel than a foxhole. Wait a minute. You slacker! You're gonna be a hard case, I can tell. And the only way to break a hard case is with hard work. Now put on your pack and march, soldier! You need to learn discipline. So, you can't leave this area until you do this. <laughs> but let's make it a little more interesting for you. Come on, son. Show me what you got. Way to be innovative, soldier. Mmm. <laughs> Smells like the mess hall's cooking up something good today. I do not have to take this. I outrank him. You say that, soldier. Looks like a snowball, right? Well, it ain't. This is the core sacred weapon. The Skeeter Bomb. You turn this down, and 10 seconds later, boom! A cloud of mosquitoes breaks out. It's the last thing the enemy would expect down here in the cold Antarctic. Skeeters. Now for a little target practice. Annihilate the targets on the firing range. This is what the core is all about. Now 
no, no, you missed the target entirely. You hit the bunker. Oh. Ah, it's coming! <laughs> <Skeeter>! <laughs> to a place where sleeping is not an option, soldier. I am going to personally make sure you do this exercise correctly. You'll be in my sight the whole time, because you're jumping with me. Another two miles, and we jump. <laughs> You want to sleep, huh? You'll never sleep under my command again, soldier, because there'll be nowhere left to sleep! <laughs> Sergeant Hogwash, what is the meaning of this? Did my skis crash? I just saw us blow up the base, sir! You what? Guards? No more sleeping and no more nothing. Base kaboom. Oh, kablooey. Kablooey. <laughs> For withstanding that pig's command, I'm promoting you to base drill sergeant. I commend you on your bravery, soldier. Carry on, soldier. <laughs> New recruit, P-Bear, reporting for duty, Sarge. What are my orders of the day? <laughs> yes, sir, sir. Uh, right away, sir. Chart. I always buy slices here. Well, I just purchased and bought this establishment. So that's an old sign. Pizzatorium. We deliver a delicious pizza pie in five minutes or it's free. I said I want a slice of pizza. Could you hold Uno Momentum, poor favor? Oh, yeah! Uh -huh. One free pizza coming up. <laughs> Pizzatorium! We deliver a delicious pizza pie in five minutes or your pizza is free! I want a pizza with everything on it delivered to this address. Got it. Um, how mysterious. I'm 
out of sausage. You gotta get some to me fast. Meaty meat company, here's your sausage, Mac. <laughs> oh, I'm so very late. Deliver this pizza on time, or I'm not. <laughs> Dapper Denver Dooley, pizza pie in the sky deliverologist. <laughs> Dapper Denver Dooley, pizza pie in the sky his delivery. But there's still time. My van, jetpack fuel, and of course, my tip. <laughs> no money? Well, then you'll work it off. Yep, guaranteed delivery in five minutes. No problemo. What the God? Hit the Skyway Woodpecker! Gee, Dooley, can I just have one slice of pizza for the road? Well, okay. But you gotta eat it raw, Smarty Feathers. <laughs> now deliverize that pie! I gotta remember to take them outside first. Just how I like my pizza. With a view. <laughs> <laughs> 